Good morning. So this is a project for my elementary students. It is a found art object collage. You can go around your house right now and find a pair of scissors, glue, tape, stapler, a hole puncher. And what I would like you to do is trace all those shapes. Sometimes, depending on the size of your paper, you could trace it once or trace it twice. And I want you to overlap the shapes so you can get some really interesting lines and designs. So I went ahead and I traced some of my shapes and I started to add some colors, but here is the final project. And I used primary and secondary colors. They're listed right here. Here are my secondary colors and here are my primary colors. And what is really great is that after you overlap all of your objects, it's really fun to find those little baby shapes and color them in. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little example how to do this. So if you have your pair of scissors, you can open it up, hold it down firmly with your left hand or your non-drawing hand, and trace. Go slow so you can get a nice good shape. It's a little tricky. You're going to have to move some fingers to get out of the way. Even Mrs. Abel just moved hers. Go around the other side. You have to move a little bit. Boop. Okay. Go around here. You get this nice circle right here. All right. Now I can flip it. I love the shape of scissors. So I'm going to hold those down firmly because they really like to move that last time. And it just did it again. And then it's great to go over the shape because the more little shapes that you create, the better. Because this project is all about overlapping it, okay? So, and then you can just fix that little part right there. Now, I also love rolls of tape. So if your parents have any rolls of tape, this makes another great shape as well. Now you can even have it come off the page. Just make sure you have something underneath the piece of paper so that you're not going on your table. And you can make it just a little bit smaller. That would be a nice set of colors on the side. All right, so we have a couple interesting things happening here. So I have this really neat little hole puncher. I'm going to do the best I can. Getting a nice, it's going to take a lot of work and patience. So I have to go super slow. But it'll pay off in the end. And it'll be a beautiful abstract design once we're all done. Okay. So we made a little boo boo right here. It's okay. You could just connect it and just make up like a little design like that. Okay. All right. So. Now, I have some post-its, and we could just make some neat squares. So my first graders did this last year, but I have done this with almost every age group, and everyone loves it. Okay, this is going to be fun. Here comes our glue bottle. Now we could do the opposite side as well. Now I usually say trace about 10 objects, but it just depends on what kind of paper you have at home this week. So. If it gets a little too busy, you're just going to be coloring a lot of little tiny shapes. But the more shapes, the better. Oh, and I went around the side, but that's okay. I'm just going to connect it. And I'm just going to connect it like this. And then 
and it won't, it'll be kind of like hidden if we just kind of camouflage it like this. So I'm just gonna go like this. So if you make a mistake, just kind of camouflage it. That's all. All right, so I've got some pretty good designs here. Looks awesome. And I am just gonna bring in a purple marker quickly. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the purple marker. I'm gonna go in with a little baby shape and I'm just gonna go around. And I usually tell my friends in the room, try to color in about 20 little shapes. Now it just depends on what size you have. And go around your picture, float around but don't put the same color next to each other. Try to really mix it up with your primaries and your secondaries. Go around your whole picture, but don't put two purples next to each other. Really you know, mix it up. And I really like finding the little places because that's what's gonna really make your design look great. See like this little baby design right here and then this right here now it's okay that there's enough space between those two purples that it's gonna look fabulous but I wouldn't put like a purple right here okay so I'm gonna continue around and I'm probably gonna shoot for this size paper this is just right out of my copier today because I'm kind of thinking of what supplies most of my friends have at home right now. I'm going to shoot for about 10 purple shapes, and then I'm going to switch markers, okay? So I am going to work towards this. All right, good luck, have fun, and I can't wait to see your designs.